Hi guys. So it's never X marks the spot. It's about really looking for how do I make her move more efficiently. So even with the braces, that again, she's gone through tightening, swellings, and all that kind of things. I want to make sure that she's available uh, for that. Now here, I get a nice twist through the ramus on the left, not here. And th that's where, again, the neck is jamming. So that's where I'll probably go with her lesson, is really working on her twist and get that neck more resolved with the movements of the head. Because again, she could have been scared going to the dentist, they're in there, they're applying pressure, all of those kind of things. And that could have been the situation where she just was holding herself or her breaths for so long and it just stressed her system out and it just wasn't resolved. Cranial movements are really important. First of all, even though, again, where I say like movement lesson doesn't work with diagnosis, it's the same thing with braces. I don't, I'm not doing anything special because she has braces, but because she has braces, she's had a lot of mouth trauma. She's a little jammed through the atlas to C3. So again, when I say that, see if I come here, look at how much I get the chest to move. When I come here, she kind of, it's almost like I'm knocking on a door kind of a response. I'm gonna come above the braces and I'm still gonna go into the periodontal roots. There we go. So, so with her, I'm gonna be working with the facial twists because again, she can twist quite nicely here to here. I don't ever wanna be on the braces. There she goes. So now I have a nice long touch. With that, I go and see where my touch went. See, look at that. See how that resolved the neck issue. So that's another thing. You might say, oh, I have a tight neck. I have a sore neck. But what did I do? As I worked on the maxillaries, the zygomatics, and into the inner zygomatic sutures above the braces, and I released, or whatever is your word for it, um, loosened, you know, some people again look at movement with different vocabulary and that's what I did for her. Now I can come in here, see, now look at the difference of just the chest and even with me bringing up the head. So now I'm at a different place to start working on it. Thanks guys.